and from 2016. Nobody wants to be patronized, but in politics, that is what we have. In the U.S., there are two political parties. One minority group has experienced patronism from both. African Americans, following the Civil War, many African American people supported the Republican GOP, which had ended slavery despite bitter Democrat opposition. Following the Civil War in the United States, Democrats would lynch black people for political leverage. Taking advantage of black peoples after a hurricane hit Louisiana in the 20s, Herbert Hoover, a civil engineer who had been given tremendous credit for feeding Germany after World War I, was called in to feed starving peoples in the South. Democrats being what they are, some black peoples were relieved of aid packages at gunpoint. Hoover was appalled, but authorities had not prosecuted the brutes. Following Hoover's resounding presidential win, Democrat FDR pinned blame on Hoover for not doing enough for African Americans who suffered from Democrat activity. And the African American movements have supported Democrats ever since. But compare the lifestyle of the African Americans patronized by GOP with African Americans patronized by Dems. Under GOP, African Americans achieved much in education, employment, and family. Culture flourished with music that influenced mainstream despite Democrats insisting on unequal rights. Then the great changeover during the Depression. Now, most African American families are single parent. Unemployment is high. Crime rates are high. Nixon delivered equal rights, thank you GOP, but things just don't look fair. Black lives matter, but there is a lie in the hashtag because all lives matter. But at the end of the day, uh, does one, as a GOP supporter, take responsibility for their choices? Or does one, as a Democrat, demand that good choices be made for them? My father told a story of getting into a taxi in New York City in the 60s. Many of the drivers were Jewish, with pictures of sons and daughters studying law or medicine. They paid for children to have an education they did not get. Asking African Americans who were unemployed, why not drive a taxi? I could, but that is working poor. But what about your children? If they want to work, they can. For some, at the moment, the sex party has more credibility.